Yesterday, we introduced you to a student with concerns about safety around his apartment. His apartment is only accessible through a location frequented by users of a supervised drug consumption site. The Middlesex London Paramedic Service has responded to 148 opioid-related overdoses so far in 2022, with 25 incidents in the last six days alone. In part two of her series, CTV's Rita Ismail looks at what's being done to address the concerns of many Londoners. And she also shines a new light on the opioid challenge in the city and the common misconception that surrounds mental health and drug addiction. You, you, you be more uh, moderate, you be more careful. Daniel is one of many who frequent the temporary care point supervised consumption site on King Street. You be more uh, like uh, very thoughtful, you know what I mean? Uh, so thoughtful to use because it's not easy game. The provincially funded service allows supervised consumption of illicit drugs. It's intended to prevent overdose, reduce the spread of infectious disease, and increase access to health and social services. The Director of Harm Reduction Services with Regional HIV AIDS Connection, Sonia Burke, who oversees CarePoint, says people have a perception that the services they provide are enabling. People don't wake up and say, hey, this is... This is the life I would like to have. I would like to be homeless. I would like to use substances. Like, that is not how this happens. Burke insists that the concerns by local area tenants and businesses are not necessarily a result of CarePoint, but rather a citywide issue. The picture is much bigger. You know, we have hospital beds shutting down. We have funding limitations. So all these things are, are creating a perfect storm for challenges across our community. Ward 13 councillor John Fife Miller agrees. It would be unfair to take the challenges, for instance, that we have on Dundas Place right now and blame that on the consumption site. Those challenges, in my opinion, are challenges that have come over the past two decades of the changes that we've made in dealing with health care and dealing with mental health and dealing with addiction. Burke admits that recent developments, such as a new building next to the site, have created limited access for those using the services, but she adds they've always been committed to ensuring safety around the facility, such as security patrolling the area 12 hours a day, seven days a week. We are fatigued by having to advocate for what is ethically the right thing to do. You know, the actual disregard for human life is disturbing. Councillor Fife Miller says plans are in place to ensure that when the consumption site moves to York Street later this year, it's respective of the fact that it's in a community. He wants to stress that the concerns around supervised consumption sites will not go away overnight. It's taken us two decades right now to get to where we are today. Planning place to deal with mental health and addiction simply is not working for me. Burke wants to stress that harm reduction services are about incremental gains. When a person overdoses and we bring them, you know, we are able to revive them, we're able to support them, that is a success. So every time a person walks in our doors, it's a success. Rita Ismail, CTV News.